So today we host uh, Dr. Hajar, uh, you can say a trailblazing uh, Moroccan researcher uh, working at the intersection of biotech, environmental science. And for me, it's really... Um... Uh, a, a transformative because uh, before uh, before this experience I was doing research but when exploring and uh, with this international exposure I... what message do you have for young women who want to consider career in bio especially in biology or marine sciences in my case I believe on uh doing new things, exploring new things. And uh, it's also balancing cultural expectation. Demanding research, research career was for me a challenge. But it's always give me a resilience and unique experience and perspective. So Welcome to another episode of uh, Global Science Voices. Uh and where we are exploring stories that shape our planet and future. So today we host uh, Dr. Hajar, uh, you can say a trailblazing uh, Moroccan researcher uh, working at the intersection of biotech, environmental science and marine ecosystems. So her voice is leading the wave of ocean sustainability across the Mediterranean and beyond. So thank you very much, uh, uh, Dr. Ajar, for joining this. And um, uh, first of all, I want to ask you about your journey, career starting from uh, the beginning until now. What was the challenges? What was the inspiring uh, things? And what was the learning outcomes uh, which the audience can benefit as well? And what motivated you to specialize in uh, marine biology and environmental biotech and something and your PhD journey? Uh, something about that, please. Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, I'm specialized in uh, marine biology and the environment. So uh, my, uh, as I have always been passionate about life ecosystems and life sciences. So how living organisms function. That's why I choose life, life sciences over other fields. I also uh, wanted to create value from nature. So developing new products while ensuring the sustainability of resources, especially from the ocean. This led me to specialize in marine biology, environmental sciences, and also biotechnology. So uh, as case of my PhD journey, my PhD was focused on biodiversity, ecology, and dynamics of phytoplankton along the Moroccan Mediterranean coast. So the uh, combining lab work, field work also, so uh, microscopy, lab analysis. Uh, also, I was doing uh, statistical analysis and cartography. So oh, I was also training p p students, master's students, and and PhD students. I have collaborated nationally and nationally and internationally uh, with uh, with uh, many institutions uh, from France, uh, from uh, from Spain, and also from Morocco. So, as a doctoral researcher, I was uh, at uh, the National Institute of Fisheries Research in Morocco in Casablanca. And also, as a research fellow, I was at the, the Institute of Marine Sciences in Barcelona, Spain, and uh, also with French institutions, with French institutions like the Development and Research Institutes, and also Montpellier University in France. So this led me also to uh, to appear, uh, review the uh, publication international publications. And um, for this, my research experience at uh, the ICMCC, so I was working, my working there was a transformative for me. Uh, I was, uh, um, I expanded my research from regional scale. So uh, just working on the Moroccan Mediterranean coast at a broader scale, so at larger scale, uh, including uh, the whole Alburn Sea. So co combining institute data to remote sensing. So this international experience gave me uh, uh, a new skills and a wide uh, scientific scientific vision and truly shaped me as a researcher. So, uh, Hajar, uh, how was uh, your research experience in Spain? 
uh, how was that and uh, this cross border collaboration and uh, what uh, uh, you have learned about this uh, of uh, ocean monitoring and conversation as well yeah this experience for me is a an, an uh, is a new experience and uh, i was um, i was i sub i was doing my phd and uh, while i was doing it i submitted to uh, to a project so uh, this project I included to my PhD project and they were selected uh, and uh, awarded this fellowship and they went for uh, six months at this institute uh, to do uh, this part of my research. Uh, and um, how, this is how I, uh, I get this uh, new skills and also I get this experience. And for me, it's really... Um, uh, a, a transformative because uh, before uh, before this experience I was doing research but when exploring and uh, with this international exposure I I I am what I am today. Very nice uh, and it's me and uh, uh, about the women in STEM as a Moroccan woman in science what challenges and opportunities have you encountered and what what message do you have for young women who want to consider career in bio especially in biology or marine sciences okay so as a, as a woman is always a challenging because also in this field of marine science uh, because we have uh, missions uh, we have we don't have only work on uh, uh, like uh, on lab analysis but also we have missions on board uh, or we have to 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 do many many things that um, that for a woman is uh, a challenging, but uh, uh, in my case, I believe on uh, doing new things, exploring new things, and uh, it's also balancing cultural expectation with the uh, uh, with the demanding research research career was for me a challenging. But it's always given me a resilience and a unique experience and perspective. So being a, a, a Moroccan woman in marine sciences makes me proud uh, to break these uh, stereotypes. Good. That's good, uh, Hajar. And uh, about the leadership and outreach, if, uh, now how is, uh, you know, is ECOP Morocco contributing to ocean sustainability and what projects or goals are you working towards uh, 2025? Okay, so for um, uh, for the ECOP, we we have uh, I am representing Morocco as a member of uh, ECOP. We have a node of ECOP here in Morocco. While ECOP is a worldwide network that is focusing on early career professionals, and uh, by connecting this uh, uh, early career, uh, this profession early professionals. Uh, ECOP Morocco, it fosters collaboration, also uh, uh, gives visibility uh, and also building skills. So it's also for capacity building. For young scientists, also working for sustainability, working for uh, blue economy, for uh, in a marine protecting the ocean, in uh, the main and principal thing, and also marine conservation. Okay, okay, that's good. And uh, it's uh, about the advice and vision. What advice uh, would you give to African or Mediterranean uh, students so who want to come go abroad for research? And also, if you had uh, full funding, for example, what uh, marine project would you lead right now? Okay, so for um, for my advice to young women and young uh, scientists. Uh, for me, it's be bold, be perspective, uh, like uh, have perspectives, and your perspective matters. So also seek ment mentors, build networks. Uh, for me, uh, networks is essential uh, to to, uh, to to explore and discover, and also uh, uh, develop uh, your work and your research work. And never underestimate your capacity to drive change. Uh, for also my uh, projects, so I'm focusing on setting up a research-driven lab in Morocco, so bridging marine biotechnology, food safety, and also environment. 
And uh, the last thing is like, I also, uh, for the funding, I am seeking for um, now for a, a postdoctoral fellowship. And uh, so I'm working for a, a, new, a new project uh, in, in the large scale, uh, large scale project uh, on microalgae. So it's entitled From Jane to Communities, Phytoplankton Diversity Responses to Warming in the Mediterranean Sea. So this is the, the project that is under uh, work uh, uh, today and uh, uh, seeking for a postdoctoral position worldwide. Very nice. And uh, now we will end this session and uh, I will ask one word uh, answer about, uh, for example, your favorite marine species. So my favorite marine species, um, I would I would say phytoplankton because uh, they are primary producers. Uh, it's not just I'm working with that, but also uh, the, without phytoplankton, we cannot breed and we cannot live. Uh, because we can say that almost 80% of oxygen we breathe, uh, it's um, from phytoplankton in the ocean. It's from the ocean. So we need uh, to sustain these resources in order to be alive. Very nice. So they are tiny but mighty. So one tool you cannot work without uh, in the lab. So it's easy to say microscope. And uh, your dream research collaboration. So it's a, a Mediterranean uh, worldwide initiative, it, 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 uh, especially in the Mediterranean, because uh, I need like to cover all these bordering countries in order to uh, to seek for a, a collaboration, integrative collaboration, uh, to sustain this uh, this ecosystem because it's a semi enclosed ecosystem. So we need all of uh, all of these countries uh, uh, combined with with uh, with the. Uh, uh, all these bordering countries, they need to manage and monitor uh, and protect this shared ecosystem. Because if, if it's shared, we don't need, we don't need just one, uh, one, uh, one country, but all these bordering countries need to, to, uh, to, to get enhanced and to, for, to, to have this, uh, uh, to get this uh, new, uh, this good results for the sustainability of this ecosystem. Very nice. And uh, Dr. Hajar, thank you and uh, for your uh, commitment uh, for, uh, to the ocean and to science that drives real world impact and is deeply appreciated, definitely. And uh, thank you for showing us uh, how research can protect biodiversity, enhance sustainability and inspire uh, more women uh, uh, into marine and environmental career. Thank you very much for your time and have a nice time and uh, uh, bye bye. Thank you so much for having me today.